Hello everyone, thanks for watching to a level here, so the game awards are right around the corner, so I thought it'd be fun, you know, this year maybe do my own predictions for them, right? Says, you know, I don't really care too much about like who gets nominated or anything, like I watch the game awards for, yeah, the game trailers that are shown and things like that. Also enjoyed the orchestra usually, right? So. <laughs> Yeah, whatever got nominated, whatever got snubbed, it's kind of like, whatever, right? Like, yes, you know, for something like Resident Evil 4 being nominated for Game of the Year, yes, I would prefer if there was a category for remasters and remakes, but at the same time, I'm also not going to throw my arms up in the air and get all angry or upset, right? So, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know what I was going to say, I just blanked out, wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll start with most anticipated game and work our way backwards because stuff like content creator of the year and esports stuff I wouldn't know anything about or anything and <laughs> always find it weird that most anticipated game is always an award or whatever, but we'll start there and yeah, any of my predictions are like I'll put it all in the comments down below for each category what I think is going win, not necessarily what I hope to see win or anything, like I said, doesn't matter too much to me, so <laughs> yeah, the games we have here are Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Hades 2, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, Star Wars Outlaws, and Tekken 8, so yeah, uh, definitely very interested in Like a Dragon and uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Hades 2. Like, I just got the first Hades, so I have to see what that is. Star Wars Outlaws looks kind of interesting, but uh, other games I'm very looking forward to next year are Persona 3 Reload, Grand Blue uh, Fantasy Relink, <laughs> uh, Ayutan Chronicles 100 Heroes, you know. Uh, metaphor, <laughs> so, yeah, I would say a lot of level 5 stuff, but a lot of that got delayed into 2025, unfortunately, so, yeah, but definitely my pick, which I think this will win anyways, but my personal pick anyways is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I am so excited for this, I cannot wait, you know, I'm wondering how, like, Part 2 of this is going to end, I'm very intrigued, and yeah, just really cool, so yeah, we'll hit previous, so, best adaptation, okay, so, yeah, um, for this, I'm going to guess The Last of Us will win, I like the show and all that, I, you know, I didn't like it as much as people praised it, but it was still a good adaptation, but I think because of its popularity and everything, uh, I do think that will win. Plus, was pretty cool to have that show filmed where I am in Calgary, like a good portion of it, right? So, that was really cool. <laughs> uh, best multiplayer, so... Since Baldur's Gate 3 and Mario Wonder are part of, <laughs> like, Game of the Year, um, going to say Mario Wonder because for Baldur's Gate 3, even though there's multiplayer, like, <laughs> a lot of people seem to... At least from what I've seen, a lot of people seem to be playing this single player and everything rates where Mario Wonder, like, it's great for the family and everything like that. Party Animals, I could kind of see win, but yeah, my vote to say will win will be Mario Wonder. And then Best Sports Racing, so I don't know really too much about this because, yeah, I haven't played any of these, but I'll say Forza Motorsport, which I'm guessing that was like the remake or something of first game, or I don't know, <laughs> but I'll just say Forza Motorsport because, you know, a lot of people really like that series, but yeah, could also, yeah, any of these could win, I'm sure. <laughs> I just don't know too much, so best sim strategy, so the only game I have is Fire Emblem Engage. I haven't actually dove into it yet, though. Uh, you know, Vance Wars 1 and 2, like, I played the original on Game Boy Advance a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, I haven't played the remake of them. Man, yeah, I'm not sure the 
Yeah, I'm sh like, say Skylines, I can't see winning, like, it didn't really get too many good reviews, or really great reviews, I should say. Um, uh, I'll just say Fire Emblem Engage, since it's the only game I actually have. <laughs> uh, best Family, so, yeah, because Mario Wonder is part of Game of the Year, uh, I do think Mario Wonder will win. That I do want to get Disney Illusion Island at some point, like, that game looks like a lot of fun, so... Yeah, I have to get that at some point. <laughs> Best fighting, so for me, I think Street Fighter 6 is going to win, man. It's so weird having Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 here since it's a game mill game, and man, they've been just showing out really horrible stuff lately, uh, but... Yeah, I heard a lot of great things about the All-Star Brawl 2, kind of weird, but yeah, like, I think it's going to be between Mortal Kombat 1 and Street Fighter 6, but because Mortal Kombat is like a reboot, and Street Fighter 6, when it kind of came out, like, uh, you know, when it was first revealed, it didn't get a whole lot great praise at the time for its look and everything, and then when it came out, like, people loved it, so... Yeah, I think Street Fighter 6 will win that one. Best RPG, so... <laughs> yeah, the only one of these I actually beat is Final Fantasy 16. Fantastic game, really loved it. I've been playing, you know, I... Played a bit to see a stars, but it got to a point where it started to drag a lot for me, which I know this is going to be a very hot take, but yeah, see a stars, good game, but I didn't, you know, I'll have to play the rest, but yeah, for me, unfortunately, I didn't love it like so many other people did. I wish, wish I did, you know, again, oh played the rest of it to see how I feel, but yeah, I took a break from it because it started to get a bit draggy, but out of all these, I do think Baldur's Gate 3 will win because it's part of the game of the year, and yeah, here are so many amazing things about this game, and yeah, physical of this game will be coming out soon, like, I pre-ordered the Japanese version of Baldur's Gate 3, and then, uh... Then, pretty much right after, like, you know, Larian Studios announced that they're make you know, localizing it with a bunch of little goodies, so it's like, okay, I'm going to probably buy two physicals of this game then, but, yeah, I'm going to guess that I'll win for sure. Then, best action adventure, so, yeah, like, <laughs> four of the five nominees, so... For a game of the year, so yeah, I don't think Star Wars Jedi Survivor is going to win because, yeah, the other ones are nominated for game of the year, and I'm going to say Zelda Tears of the Kingdom will win, you know, I, it's another game that got a lot of praise from critics, whether people like it or not, like the direction of Zelda or not, but yeah, it just <laughs> feels like that's the game to win, which yeah, kind of spoiler alert, but that's probably going to be my pick for Game of the Year as well once we get to it. <laughs> Best action game, so I eventually want to get Armored Core 6, so like I hear so many amazing things about it, and I love the old Armored Core games, you know, used to play it quite a bit with some friends, and yeah, awesome. Dead Island 2, I also heard... Uh, some good feedback on that, but Hi-Fi Rush, it's the only one this list that I played and beat and absolutely loved it. Hi-Fi Rush, like, <laughs> you know, like, it might not win, but I'm still going to say that'll be the best action game. <laughs> Uh, best VR AR experience, so, yeah, I think Sony has, like, cleaned house on this, like, I'm not sure if any of these games are on, uh, PC at this moment anyways, like, Humanity might be, but, yeah, for sure, Gran Turismo and Horizon, of course, be PS5, I'm pretty sure, Resident Evil Village VR mode is PS5 as well, and... Uh, 
man. That's a tough call because I hear amazing things about Gran Turismo 7 VR. But I know, like, Horizon Call of the Mountain was, like, the selling game for VR 2 for PlayStation, right? So, yeah, I'll go with Horizon Call of the Mountain on that one. Best mobile game? Yeah, so another one I don't really know about, but I'll say Honkai Star Rail because people, you know, whether people like it or not, like, usually Genshin Impact wins, like, awards yearly for certain categories and all that, so, you know, since it's the same company, I'm going to guess Honkai Star Rail will win. I did try Ever Crisis, not a bad game, just not for me, you know, just way too many pop-ups with their getcha mechanic and everything, right? But, yeah, I'm sure people like it, and then, uh, Hello K Island Adventure always makes me laugh and think of South Park. <laughs> Uh, best debut indie game, so I don't really know these games too well. Like, I've heard of them, and I've seen footage of, like, Pizza Tower. I did play a tiny bit of Cocoon on Xbox Game Pass, but didn't really dive much into it. And because of that, I'll just say Cocoon will win this category. And then best independent game, I'm going to say Sea of Stars will win overall, like, just, again, the feedback that people have with this game, I think they'll win for sure. I shouldn't say for sure, I keep saying for sure, it's just a habit of mine to say that, but, uh, yeah, so. Best community support, so yeah, we have Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny, to Final Fantasy XIV and No Man's Sky, so even though Baldur's Gate 3 is part of Game of the Year, I'm actually going to say Cyberpunk 2077 because that's a game that, again, rough starts, but really kind of turned things around and people, you know, it's a game that I have on my playlist to start very soon because, yeah, I want to dive into it and the DLC and everything, right, because, yeah, I'm very excited to, you know, I know there's still bugs in it, but very excited to kind of actually dive into a more playable experience, right? And it just reminds me of what Final Fantasy XIV and No Man's Sky went through, so yeah, I think Cyberpunk will win that one. Then best ongoing Genshin Impact. I think it wins like every single time whenever it's nominated for Wards like this, so yeah, I'll just say Genshin Impact. <laughs> uh, games for Impact, so yeah, again, I don't know too much about this. I did play this one, uh, Shia or Chia. Uh, I think it's Shia, but uh, yeah, because it was on PS5, like through PlayStation Plus Extra or Premium or whatever, so yeah, that's the only one I played. Not a bad game, you know, I haven't played all the way through, I play a little bit of it, you know, has kind of want those sort Zelda Breath of the Wild elements in it, but yeah, since I don't know too much, I'll just say yeah, this one of Shia. <laughs> uh, innovation and accessibility, so again, I wouldn't really know <laughs> for sort myself, right, like it's not something that affects me personally, so... Uh, yeah, I'll just say Hi-Fi Rush because also that, you know, it's the only one I play, but also that game had, you know, different types of modes and, you know, where you didn't have to keep up with the rhythm if you didn't want to, you could turn that kind of off so that you could just mash the button to your content, right? <laughs> and then best performance, so... What's interesting about this is those tell the like the actor and then uh like what game, but they don't actually say what character they played. Like if you didn't play Final Fantasy 16, then you wouldn't know that Ben Stark voice Clive in that one, right? And yeah, <laughs> but uh, 
Yeah, again, I think I'll go with Ben Starr because I, one, I do think he did a fantastic job as Clive in that game. Like, I love Final Fantasy 16, so yeah, I think. Go with that, but yeah, it's also the only one here that I've actually played and beat and everything so far. Like, I do have Star Wars uh, Jedi Survivor, but I still have to get through Fallen Order, so yeah, we'll go with Ben Starr. Then best audio design, so usually for these like horror games would win because that's the big thing, but again, only played and beat Hi-Fi Rush out of these games plus, yeah, the music was fantastic in that game, but yeah, I'm, uh, I shouldn't, this is supposed to be what I think is going to win, so yeah, maybe I'll change it, maybe not Hi-Fi Rush for this, it's... Uh, I'm going to actually, yeah, let's change it to Alan Wake 2, like, a lot of people have praised this, and with it being this psychological horror and everything, I think Alan Wake 2 probably has that one down, but we'll see. Then best score and music, so, whew, this is tough because, again, I don't... I haven't heard all the scores for all these, and like I said, I love the audio in uh, Hi-Fi Rush, but Final Fantasy 16, man, like, some of those battles were just so fantastic with, yeah, just the music and, yeah, because I haven't really heard the soundtracks of uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Baldur's Gate 3 or Alan Wake 2, like I have Tears of the Kingdom, just haven't dove into it, I'm just going to say Final Fantasy 16, it was a fantastic soundtrack. Best Art Direction, oh, man, see again, I'm like, I want to say Hi-Fi Rush because that, that was one of the most pleasing looking animation styles that I've seen in a long while in games. You know what, I think it could win because these other ones, like, you know, Mario Wonder changed its style a bit, but it still has that Mario feel, and with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, it's, you know, it's the same kind of graphic style of Breath of the Wild, right? So, it might, I don't think it would win necessarily this year for that, so yeah, I'll say Hi-Fi Rush, I think it has a chance. Best narrative, so, <laughs> yeah, this one, I, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, I have to say Final Fantasy 16 because I don't know the narrative of these other ones, like, I'm sure, yeah. It's Phantom Liberty and then Baldur's Gate 3, like, all of these. Like, I think uh, Spider-Man 2 probably is the least likely to win out this category, like, you know, and probably same with Final Fantasy 16 to be honest, but yeah, like I said, I don't really know the narratives of these other ones, so yeah, I'll just say Final Fantasy 16. Then best game direction of... Uh, yeah, okay, well, again, I'm playing through Mario Wonder, but, yeah, um, I'll, I'll just say Baldur's Gate 3, I'll, with this one, I'll just say what I would, wouldn't mind seeing winning, and Baldur's Gate 3, you know, it's awesome that it's here, so, yeah, we'll say Baldur's Gate 3 for that. Then, Game of the Year, so yeah, I already kind of said spoiler, where... I would like to see Baldur's Gate 3 or Alan Wake 2 win for something, you know, very different. I shouldn't say very different because these are still AAA titles, that's something that is really annoying with kind of game awards is, yeah, you know, especially this year with 2023 being such a huge year in gaming that so many games kind of did get snubbed or overlooked or whatever, but... You know, just because, you know, they're, <laughs> like, they're different from, like, a lot of these other ones nominated, like Tears of the Kingdom, you know, 
like Breath of the Wild one back in uh, 2017 and things like that, so I would like to see these ones win a Baldur's Gate 3 or Alan Wing 2, but like I said, I do think Tears of the Kingdom is going to win Game of the Year, just because, again, of the praise it's gotten and how much people are really just digging it, so... Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom, Game of the Year is my prediction, but again, I'm okay with whatever wins whichever award, but again, this was fun to do. As you can see, I don't really cast anything. I'm not going to bother doing that or creating an account or anything for this. I'll just kind of leave it and then leave my predictions in the comments. You know, but yeah, let me know what you think, what are your predictions for the Game Awards, and yeah, I don't think I'm going to stream this, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably just watch the Game Awards on my own, especially because I'm, like, I wouldn't be anywhere close to being a reactor, because my reactions are genuine, you know, they're not going to be over the top of like, whoa, what the, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, when it's like, even if something's cool, I'm like, whoa, that's really awesome, but I'm not going to be like, making a shocked face thumbnail or anything like that, but yeah, so I'll probably just watch it on my own, you know, or I'll be texting some friends as I'm watching it and things like that, but, if you do want me to stream it, let me know, and yeah, let me know all your picks, and I'll see you next time, everyone. Right, have a great rest of your day. Bye! Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, or if you just want to see any of my skits and then nothing else, and leave the video, that's fine too. <laughs> Thanks everyone, take care.